announcement out of Dayton this morning. It could have us one step closer to looking up into the <laughs> skies and seeing new aircraft. That is right. It is all part of the building of a new facility here in Ohio meant to develop cutting edge aerial technology. Our Isabel Lawrence breaks down what this means for our state and how you could one day be getting around town a little bit differently. As the birthplace of aviation, Ohio is enamored with all things that fly. How great is that, huh? And carrying on that tradition is a company called Joby. We intend to build on that incredible legacy by building a manufacturing facility for our own revolutionary aircraft right here in Dayton. Here's a look at those aircrafts, a kind of mix between a helicopter and a drone. It's what the company says is the future of aerial ride sharing. It will transport a pilot and four passengers at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour and is designed to be deployed on journeys of up to 100 miles. Essentially, flying taxis. Joby's CEO says they hope to build 500 a year and that the new facility will create 2,000 jobs. Our state has proven time and time again that we will lead the next wave of innovation. The aircrafts will be electric and quiet, taking off and landing vertically. But getting this opportunity for high-tech manufacturing was competitive, according to officials, who say Joby was also considering other states as they expand out of California. And the whole nation wanted this project, and Joby picked you, Dayton, Ohio, to do it. Celebrate that. From the Wright brothers to the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and even to the work of NASA. Ohio aims to continue to take to the skies. Ohio is indeed the heart of it all. And most notable today, Ohio is the heart of all in aerospace.